Overclockers, my name's Bryony and I have tried and reviewed a lot of different gaming chairs, but this one, this one right here, is different. It moves away from the same design we've seen again and again and again, and it innovates with new features that come together to make a chair that's so comfortable you do not want to get out of it. And best of all, it's pretty affordable. This is the Thunder X3 Core. It's part of their Ultimate series and it retails for £340, which isn't really what I'd call cheap, but it's also not all Dragon Law levels of extravagance. In this video, I'm gonna let you know what I think is the most comfortable gaming chair that I've ever sat in. I'm gonna show you all the different features and demo all the different adjustment options that do require a little bit of figuring out. So if you do decide to get one, you'll likely find this tutorial rather helpful. When you first see the Thunder X3 Core, your eye isn't really drawn by the stylish design, soft fabric and relaxed shape, but instead this. This thing on the backrest, it might look a little bit odd and it just sort of juts out of the backrest and wobbles about on what I assume is some sort of spring. However, I'm pretty sure this is what makes it so comfortable. I'm gonna nickname it the Active Lumbar Support because it moves around with your body. And when I sat in it for the first time, I sort of felt like my spine sighed with relief at how comfortable it was. A few of us in the marketing team were all trying it out and one thing became pretty clear is that nobody wanted to give it up. Ergonomic is definitely a term that's thrown around a little too liberally, but this chair does genuinely have a lot of different features that are designed for efficiency and comfort, which is essentially the definition of ergonomics. The seat is spacious with plenty of space to manspread or cross your legs without those bolsters digging into your thigh. The foam is nice and firm, but also really cushioned. So you get a lot of support that's actually quite comfortable, particularly on the plush fabric version, which is this gray version here. It reminds me of sitting on a sofa. The head pillow is made of memory foam. And it's actually quite usable as well. You've got this really nice shape that offers extra support just where you want it. And it's not too high or not too low on the chair. There's also an included additional pillow, which you can use as a footrest or an armrest or even a cat bed, whatever you want really. It's just nice to sort of have it and it is super soft as well. This is such a simple thing too, but the back of the chair actually has a pocket. And I don't know why more chairs don't have one. It's ideal for your paperwork, controllers, headsets, cables, anything that you don't want cluttering up your desk. However, my personal favorite use, snacks. One of the most important ergonomic features of any chair is gonna be the adjustability, and the Thunder X3 has loads. My only niggle is it does seem a little bit complicated at first. You've got multiple levers and twistable knobs that do require a little bit of figuring out. However, I am going to demonstrate the different adjustment options. The height can be adjusted with the lever on the right-hand side between 134 and 144 centimeters. I'm five foot seven and my feet are flat on the floor on the lowest setting. The smaller lever unlocks the tilt of the seat forwards or back, and then you can push it firmly into position to lock it. Twisting the knob on the right-hand side adjusts the force of the recline mechanism. You can make it firmer for heavier users or lighter for an easier recline. Speaking of the recline mechanism, it can also be locked into position. You simply twist the knob on the left-hand side to do this. If you want to unlock it again, simply twist it back and then push back with your back and it will simply unclick and then you're free to move it again. The seat base can also be moved, and I think this is what makes the biggest difference, is you can really get the lumbar support just where you want it. Use the small lever on the left to unlock it, then push it forwards and back. Then once again, you can lock it into position when you're comfortable. 
Finally, the armrests can be adjusted. You've got up and down, forwards and back, in and out, and you can also angle them in different directions. It's what most manufacturers call 4D, and it's actually pretty standard now on most gaming chairs. However, what I like most about this chair is the soft foamy pad on top, which adds to the overall comfy feeling. All of these different features together contribute to create the most comfortable gaming chair that I've ever sat in. I got loads of different people of all shapes and sizes to try it out in the office, and after a little bit of tweaking, they all found it equally comfortable. The only consideration you'll have to make here is that the max load is listed as 125 kilograms. The Thunder X3 Core is going to be perfect for those long days working at your desk or intense gaming sessions. I love that it has a sporty, stylish look without sacrificing any comfort or adjustability. Speaking of the styling, let's take a closer look at the materials, the build quality and the overall look of the chair. The Thunder X3 Core is currently available in two different variants. You've got the black PU leather, which I'm sat on, and this one, which is grey fabric. They're named Loft Grey and Modern Black. However, other colours may be coming in the future, and I would love to see a black fabric version. In my opinion, the grey is superior in both style and comfort, and it feels lovely and soft and silky, like proper upholstery fabric. You're definitely going to want to treat it with some sort of anti-stain spray though to keep it looking fresh so I reckon the light grey is going to look grubby pretty quickly. That means the main benefit of the PU is likely that it's going to be more practical and easier for you to keep clean. The overall shape is sporty yet relaxed and it's going to look just as at home in a working office as a decked out gaming room. The branding is also pretty subtle. You've got Thunder X3 stitched neatly across different parts of the chair. You've got a couple of logos on the headrest, on the backrest. There's also a touch of carbon fiber style fabric present too, with more featuring on the black version of the chair. The overall stitching is neat and it does feel like a well put together chair with really good build quality, particularly at this price point. It's also backed up with a three year limited warranty, which is great for peace of mind should anything go wrong. So overall, the Thunder X3 Core is a great looking chair, it's going to suit a wide variety of people and it's very ergonomic thanks to the innovative adjustable features. It's going to be ideal for casual gamers, esports enthusiasts and content creators or just anyone who wants a comfortable seat at their desk. Make sure to ask any questions that you have in the comments below. I'm going to try my best to answer them and I'm going to drop a link to this chair on the Overclockers website below if you want to check it out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this, and I'll catch you again in the next one.